Let's see how we get on here practicing for the tournament in seven weeks time. Let's just bring this knight up. And that's a bit of a strange opening. Let's push in the center. Let's push again. Let's see if we can open it up. Let's open it up. I think they're going to take with the king side pawn. Don't need to move so fast, there's no urgency. Yep, they're taken with the king side pawn, so that makes us think we're going to go a little bit like this. Bait in a pawn, bait in a pawn. No, they're not going for the bait. I'm actually going to hit the knight. Could take the knight, so oh, well, let's just go and castle. I want to really practice the stuff that we have been working on, which we're trying to avoid, doubling pawns, that sort of thing. Um, in the right situations, of course. Could go and attack the knight, but like I said, my brain was saying, stop, don't double the pawns, just chill. I want to get the knight out, so I'm going to bring the knight out this way. And that's looking nice, that's looking nice, but it just brings the pawn into the center. Nice position for it. It might stay there for a bit, doesn't look like there's anything else that's going to take it. Interesting times. Okay, let's move the knight. Attacking the bish, gonna take. I suppose the queen can take the pawn when we we'll jump in there. Hmm. Go here, pawns here, queen just comes here and gets the pawn. I think we stay away from that. Let's bring the knight around, give the king some company. Yeah, let's do that. That looks pretty straightforward to me. Queen's protecting. It's looking to double the pawns. In this situation, I'm not going to lose too much sleep over doubling the pawns because we have the rook ready and ready to go. So, fairly comfortable with that. I'm going to bring the queen up here. And we'll take just in case they're ready to take. So, we've got two pieces attacking it the queen and the knight. Does take. Let's open up the rook. Let's get it into the game. Trying to source some sort of bishop situation. Could take. Takes. Doesn't look too healthy. Queen needs to move, obviously. So we'll move opposite the um, opposite the king. Yeah. Oh, we could attack their queen. But this pawn is being protected by the knight. So I'm just going to bring the queen opposite their king. Might need to get the rook here. Could get the bishop here protecting a bit more, but this pawn's just going to push down, so don't want to waste any movements per se. <clears throat> Excuse me. Could always attack the knight anyway, but he'll just take the pawn. Just grab the pawn. I'm thinking I'm getting something for free here. And they got something with the queen it's got the knight but we can bring the knight back around it's a bit of a move order thing now they're moving real quick I'm trying to get things back the pawns protecting bishop can come here the pawn pushes down could take here but the queen's defending trying to get the rook into the game okay let's just bring the bishop here queen takes the pawn Bishop here defending the rook. Queen takes the knuckle pawn. We've got sights on this. Checkmate. They're thinking about it. Oh, and they have done as well, so we're going to go for the checkmate. The 
took a long while over that as well. Greedy Munching Queen. <gasps> Free Queen. Could have taken with the knight actually. And he's got an x ray through onto our king. Do we want the king in the game? He's got a white square bishop. I think we can leave the king on the back. And the rook's looking to do some sort of kamikaze stuff. Let's just x ray through to the rook. Look to trade down if we can. Got two pieces on there anyway, so we'll take with the knight. But we're attacking the rook and take. So they're probably going to resign at this point now. This player's having a laugh. They've taken almost, what, 10 minutes just sitting waiting and they've made a move. So they're thinking that I would have left the game by now, so they're going to try and win that way. Dirty tactics. Absolutely disgusting play. Let's attack the bishop here. Now they're just trying to get a stalemate situation going on. I think we'll just stay away from them, just go and get a queen and beat them the old fashioned way. Ten and door. Let's see if we can practice the learning. I think this is simply just capturing here. 
and catch it. Take the queen off. And this is the position we don't like. We don't like this opening at all. Let's take. And they've not done it the same way, but still don't like this opening. Let's just bring the rook across. X-ray through to the king. Let's put a check on the king. Outside or inside with the knight. Inside protecting the pawn maybe. Take so dark square bishop. Mm. Hmm. Let's put it on the outside. And there's a trade going off. Second with the bishop. Let's bring the rook trying to own the file, but it's not really owning it. Looks like the king is going to escape. So the rook's going to be supporting. Could take the knight off the ball, just doubles the pawns a bit. Could hit this pawn. A bit of a dilemma really. Here, here. He gets rid of the bishop. Bishop's gonna be on here, here. Yep, yeah, okay. Knight's protecting this square. Show it out of the way, but then it's blocking the bishop. Oh it's moved anyway. What's it doing? It's coming here, isn't it? Attacking this pawn. There's no real point doing that because the king is protecting as well, isn't it? Hmm. Come here, defending the pawn. What's the knight doing? Get the knight up there, attacking the pawn as well. And then we can bring the rook up. But he's just going to drop the pawn down onto the knight. Knight can put a check. Okay, let's bring the knight up. Looks a bit more activated. We're conscious the knight's going to be jumping here. We can just simply do this. Yep. Simply just do that, like we said. Probably going greedy munching for this pawn. Attacking the rook at the same time. Ah, it's that move. So that gives us a little bit of credence to bring the rook three pieces attacking pawn for a pawn in a sense excellent okay let's take coming for the pawn here do we have any funky business yes we do with a check on the king it's attacking the knights knight can put a check on the king okay uh, anything else rook can come down but this is gonna get hit what do we have very congested in there. Do we move the king up? I don't think we'll be able to save this pawn, will we? King's on a dark square. Is there any magic? If we take, his rook comes down, he's on the pawn. Oh, they've, they've resigned. Why are they resigned? 
ten and oh. Practice. Let's take. Let's push the pot on. Let's bring the bishop in, supporting. Take with the pawn. Develop the knight. Bishop. Castle. The knight has moved. So in my head I'm thinking, do they lose a little bit of tempi by doing that? Let's hit the bishop. Let's hit the bishop again. Let's take the bishop off the board. We win the knight as well. And they've resigned. 10 and 0. Oh. Okay, having a bit of a good run so far. Let's see what this game's got for us. Hmm. Alright, let's bring the bishop out. This castle. Take it. Let's bring the bishop out. Develop the knight. Support the bishop. It's kind of jamming the bishop in though, but at this moment in time, there's nothing really hitting it. Bishop's got this, but it's not got any support. So let's bring the rook opposite the queen. It's going to push this pawn to make some space for the rook, maybe hit going towards the king area. made my intentions clear I think <laughs> let's attack the king they've just castled let's push forward onto the king okay we can still continue but they're just going to push down locks it down but elevates the pawn knight's wanting to jump here I can tell that from a mile off anything else I am plumping for just pushing the pawn queen can come here just to be a bit of an annoyance and we'll do that. Or they're doing it because the white square bishop's all the way over the other side of the board, so it's not going to hit us. This pawn is probably going to hit us. Oh, they're going for a queen exchange. I think I might just do that. Let's push this pawn. Yay, okay, so we've got a highly developed pawn going towards their king area. So now all we need to do is get the rook rovers in. I know the rooks don't have any place in the center of the ball, but on this occasion, looks like everything's blocked off with all these pawns. We can take a risk. This knight is chomping at the bit to jump in here anyway. So they'll probably come here now, attacking the rook. We're going for the cheapy, aren't we? Yep. Okay, so I said um, block that off. Bishop's on the other side of the board, so maybe we can try and go for a rook rover to hit the pawn. Obviously, the bishop can simply come back and defend, or the rook can come and defend. Knight's got a nice little position here as well. So we could jump here with the knight. There's a nice little fork thing going with the rooks. And the knight's attacking our rook. Oh, well, that's not right, is it? So if we take bishop takes, or if we go here and attack their rook, he takes, pawn takes. So he wins a pawn out of that. Oh, that's a shame. Let's take the knight off the ball. Oh, got a little bit of an x-ray, but the pawn's going to drop, but we can take the pawn. Or we can take the dark square bishop off the board and see if we can get the rook there but it's going to be defending that area so i think maybe we just bring the rook back rather than looking to try and get this rook here 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 by that time he would have got this this rook would have come over supporting the pawn so is there anything different now that we can do there is this pawn that's got no protection on it 
So I'm actually going to bring the bishop here, seeing if we can get away with it. Okay, they've got a pawn of their own. So if we go here, then we hit this. Oh, they've seen it. They've seen it. Or did they see it in the last minute? Could attack the bishop, because behind the bishop is there, but uh, it's doubling the pawns. Uh, okay, let's push this pawn up. I think this rook is going though, isn't it? Oh, come on. Look at that. Oh my god, why didn't I see that? I'm so focused on my own stuff. Getting hit. Oh. oh, that's sad, isn't it? All that nice work. I'm going to take this pawn card tape because of the x ray. Oh, but he's got the other one, hasn't he? <laughs> oh. Crikey. There's nothing to do. Just to try and he's just gonna attack it with the rook. Or even with the bishop. Oh, why didn't I see that? Tunnel visioned on this area here with the bishop attacking here, but I don't think there was anything I could do about that really. I was gonna lose something. Maybe I could have pushed the pawn. I have to look back. Yeah, it's always going to be attacking, wasn't he? Attack the bishop. We're still thinking of trying to get this look. Oh, he's not letting up. It's not letting up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run out of spaces. Oh, nice try, but no cigar. Little check on the king of Rooney. Nothing happening. I can't swindle anything here. Attack the rook. Ouch, that's got to hurt, hasn't it? That's got to hurt. If I could get the rook here, but I can't. Just taking more pawns, but I have got to think of something better than. That's let's go here. Let's take on the bishop. Let's hope he forgets. No, they're not forgetting anything. Do I have any magic? None, none whatsoever. None. This rook needs to come down and get involved in the game. Uh, let's go back up again. Why don't you move this rook? on the attack again oh I think we resign last game for today let's hit this pawn let's grab let's just develop the bishop and support the pawn castle actually now we've castled let's see if we can lean a little bit towards them interesting times they've they're doing a runner let's push Just wanting the bishop let's get the bishop out take let's hit the knight okay let's move the top knight Push. Doesn't like our bishop. Let's get the knight in. Let's 
Let's attack. Okay, let's get a night up. Stop in the glorious position. It's also stopping this. But we are giving them something to think about, which is a plus. Rook. Night, night. Well, when we're given the time to do it. Night, night. They must be getting sick of it now. I think they're going to push because they're going to realize the bishop's got this pawn. They've not done it just yet. So we'll get the knight in here. key squares now the rooks need to do their part it's ready to hit this rook it's going to push this cover check but not done it yet seen everything get the check on does that give me some magic come on it must do yes it gets this pawn put the check on oh what am i doing <laughs> <Rook and ticking>. <laughs> stupid <laughs> oh it's not taken <laughs> excuse me oh dear oh that's so lucky that's oh my gosh they're giving up pieces <laughs> Oh, that is so lucky. That's not fair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the last game anyway, but <laughs> I've got to apologise. Oh, man. <laughs> it's left the game. We'll claim victory on it. Let's have a quick look, though. But, yeah, it was a bad move. That was a bad move. Yeah, we were losing there. Look at that. Oh, shocking. <laughs> But they did see it. It shows these things do happen.